In terms of Shruttajit Rai, his incredible influence on filmmakers, what has his influence been on you and your craft? See, honestly, uh, the influence of Shruttajit Rai is, um, we are not even conscious of from where it starts. Uh, as I have written, actually, uh, before I've written about people like him or Robindranath or, you know, even uh, Shomitra Kaku, that we are ingrained. So, for example, I don't remember when I first heard about Shruttajit Rai, as if we are born with that name the and what it emanates and what is the significance of Ray. And of course, I think all uh, filmmakers of our generation are indebted to him for uh, being, uh, you know, excited about the medium in the first place. But as in the discussion also it came out, not just uh, his films, you know, his writings. Remember when uh, in, in in the Pujo Shankha, Ona Lekha Gulo Beroto, but it came out later, all one of one by one his books. And uh, so it was an all pervasive uh, influence. It is very difficult to pinpoint exactly, you know, here it is. So uh, I think we are all born with that aesthetics, uh, you know, whether we have been able to. Um, you know, organically embed that in us, that our work will tell. Do you but have a favorite uh, Shruttajit Rai film or a favorite scene or anything that stands out and was perhaps a seminal moment for you in your discovery of Shruttajit Rai? See, again, uh, he, about his films, at different points in time, different films uh, are, uh, you know, at, I, I feel that it excites. But over time, I would say increasingly, I am, uh, you know, uh, arriving on this conclusion that probably Oranye Dinrati is the film which, um, to me, uh, it it uh, touches different chords. Uh, it is entertaining, first of all, the humor. Robi Ghosh was brilliant, but all the drama which you know is there, told with uh, you know impeccable perfection. And uh, so, uh, I, if, uh, of course, Pothir Pachali, Aparajita, you can name Charulata, these are greats. But um, I have realized that whenever I'm down or feel sad or happy or whatever the mood, you know, let's see Arunadhinati once more. And that is the greatness of Shatuditra also that, you know, 40, 50 years after he has made these films, people are still watching. You know, this is a, this is a, he, he is a habit of Bengalis. And, uh, many in India also. So. You've had the pleasure of interacting with uh, these so-called renaissance men. I mean, Shrutujit right. Rai was right. one of them, then Amurtu Shain and the Leishwam Strategy. What were the overarching similarities in these people, uh, apart from the fact that they were extremely inquisitive and wanted to know more about the world? Yeah. What would be the other similarities in terms of personality or temperament that you found? I have not met Shrutujit Rai, but uh, I have heard that deep down people who are very close to him thought that he was a child. You know, though it is difficult to imagine him as a child, uh, you know, he was, he had that, you know, very Guru Gombhir presence, that I have heard about Shomitsu Chatterjee also. People say that, you know, they dare not talk to him because he was so imposing and stuff like that. But I know about Shomitsu Kaku, I know about Amartya Shen. Um, you know, their, as you rightly point out, their curiosity and jana richeta makes them like a child. And not only, the, you know, the Bengalis that I'm talking about, I have met Gulzar Saab. You know, the first thing I remember, I went to his house with Chantur Moitra, the composer, and I came out and said that he's a child. You know, he was like that, you know. He's so genuine, um, the innocence of a child, the innocence of knowledge, I would say, you know, and it is ironical because he also is such a uh, well-read and he knows so much, but there is, a, you know, I, I think innocence of knowledge is the right word, you know, uh, to describe all these people. Yeah.